वेलकम टू हैन एंड सैम शो होप लिटिल की डोज यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इट्स स्टोरी टाइम एंड टूडे द स्टोरी इज द नोटी मोर लेट्स बिगिन विद द स्टोरी द कोल्ड स्नोई डेज ऑफ विंटर हैव अराइव बट इन साइड द मोल्स हाउस इट इज वार्म एंड पीसफुल Let's all have a long sleep until the warm spring comes again," says Mr. and Mrs. Mole. Everybody in the Mole family is tucked up in their beds, except Ben. That is, Ben doesn't feel even a little bit sleepy. It's boring to go to bed. I want to stay up and play. Be quiet, Ben. Your noise is keeping us all awake," says his father. I am sorry says Ben. Ben goes quietly back to bed, but he has a plan. As soon as everyone is asleep, Ben packs a small bag and sneaks out of the house. Wow, it's all white. He says as he sets out on his adventure, Ben leaves deep footprints in the snow behind him. We Ben slides down the hill and slips around in the snow. He is having so much fun. He doesn't even notice the big snowflakes falling around him. The crisp new snow is just right for building a snowman. Ben gives his snowman some ice and adds a mouth. By the time Ben finishes, he feels very cold. He wants to go back to his cozy warm house. but when he looks back he sees that the falling snow has covered up his footprints he can't find his way home ben wanders along miserably even though the snow is no longer falling he does not recognize anything and his home feels a long way away then he sees a young mouse skating lightly across an icy pond hello my name's ben what's your name I am Tess. Do you like my skating? Skating looks fun, says Ben. I think I'll try it. He slides carefully onto this ice. Soon he reaches the middle of the pond. But just as he is about to make a turn, the ice under his feet begins to creak and crack. Splash! Ben falls through the ice into the freezing water below. Help! cries Ben. It's so cold. Luckily, Mr. Rabbit and his son are collecting firewood nearby. They hear Ben's cry and rush to help him. Quick, catch the rope. Mr. Rabbit wraps the shivering Ben in a blanket and lifts him onto their sledge. They set off for the rabbit's home just as the sun begins to set. The rabbit family hangs Ben's clothes up to dry and leaves him to sleep beside a roaring fire. He is so tired, says Mrs. Rabbit. When he wakes up, we will find out where he lives and take him home. Back at home, Mr. and Mrs. Mole discover that Ben is missing, but it's so cold outside. His mother cries. She lights some lanterns and the whole family sets off in a search of Ben. They are all really worried about him. After a while, they come to the house of Mr. Mouse. Sorry to disturb you, says Mr. Mole. We are looking for our son, Ben. We are worried that he is lost in the snow. I know where he is, says Tess. She tells them about skating on the pond and Ben's rescue by Mr. Rabbit. "Hurry, we must go to the rabbit's house at once," says Mrs. Mole. "Ben, thank goodness you are all right," says Mrs. Mole, giving him a big hug. "We are all so worried about you." The Mole family thanks the rabbit for their kindness. Nobody scolds Ben for causing so much trouble. I am sorry I didn't do as I was told. Mom says Ben, 
I promise never to be so foolish again. Okay little kids hope you have enjoyed the story and learned that all you must have to obey your parents never disobey them and if you do so always apologize for your uh, misbehave okay thank you bye bye